hello guys welcome to another grand interesting video on your bfa channel and in this today's video we are going to learn about uh, transferring the materials from this merged conveyor so we're going to transfer the materials okay so we're going to transfer the parts onto different conveyors and from this conveyors again we're going to transfer to different unloading points at the end of this conveyor so basically we are going to learn about this how to do this what code needs to be put it into it and what are the triggers which are supposed to be applied so that the parts are you know shared to their respective locations so if you see currently all the blue parts will only go to the second conveyor orange will go to this fourth conveyor yellows will go to this third conveyor okay and the pinks will be directly going ahead right we have some of the processors being created here because of which if you could see the parts are getting processed at this bottom area so we can also learn about this in the next video that how have we created this processors right and how the visuals can be changed so for your information guys we have already uploaded two videos which you can watch okay first is we have discussed about conveyors we have a series of conveyors available on our channel okay where you can learn about different types of conveyors placements of conveyors then what are the merge controllers and the stuffs related to that decision points and many more stuffs in that you know series which you already have on our youtube channel and we will, we also have another video okay which shows us that how can we change the 3d shapes of the items right and then how can these be used so basically you can explore these videos to understand more about you know uh, simulation modeling and flexim so for the time being let us begin about you know modeling these stuffs so if you see we have a series of decision points been placed in here we have one of the decision point in before and we have another decision point after okay so these two decision points are very important because the first decision points tells that the part should go to each conveyor series and the second decision point tells that the parts should be going to each of the definite series so if you could see the parts are clearly segregated on these conveyors right blues are here yellows are here oranges are here these are segregated basically depending on the item type which we have assigned so now let us go from the start of the you know the object entities and look at what are the things we have modeled in order to create such a wonderful model right so if you haven't liked the videos please do like our video share it with your friends teachers colleagues okay whosoever are in an industrial engineering field and love simulation doing and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do it it really motivates us to bring such interesting content so now when we click on the source what we come to know is that we have created a indoor arrival source using a distribution pattern d uniform with minimum of 8 and maximum of 15 right so if you open this way it is here now when we go in the bottom okay so there are no triggers being applied to the source as of is it so yes we have applied it so on creation if you open this okay here is the area where you can identify whether whether the triggers are given to the entity objects or not okay so now if you could look at the object item we have set it a label type and it is applied a d uniform pattern from 2 to 8 okay and when we look at here the object colors are assigned based on the item dot type okay so we are going to have these types of things so we are assigning a type label to the part so i'll just stop the simulation model so i can click on the object and tell you that this is type 3 of the you know um part so that is what it is so here we are setting a label for the item and here we are setting up the color visuals for the item based on item type now the parts are getting created comes to the conveyor now when you click on this decision point it is the point where we are going to tell him that you know what has to be done so on arrival we are telling them that based on the item dot type whichever type of the item it is 
so you have to transfer it to the destination so the default destination is zero zero means it should go straight and that is basically for item type one probably okay and if you could look at now when i click on here and when i go in here we have item type two will go to you know current dot uh, out one item dot three should go to current dot out two three four five six now what is current dot out so current dot out is nothing but the output objects basically you can see in the ports you can go and click on the outputs and you will be able to see that first is dp8 then we have exit transfer four five six seven eight so these are the things we have told them now what are the exit transfers basically okay so when you click on this you will be able to see that this is the entry transfer and you know this is the exit transfer okay so the exit transfer is the exit from the conveyor entry transfer is the entry to the conveyor basically that way it works now what are we telling us that if the item diode part okay is going to be you know uh, one it should go to dp8 that is this it should go to straight ahead okay and here if you could see we are assigning item label value as one for this conveyor whichever object is going to come we are again going to assign a value of the destination to so that is basically not required you have already assigned them but for the safety purpose we have done it now when you look at here we are sending an item okay by using this as a code so you can use that okay when you go in the send item okay you need to go send item by case and you can do plus 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 and you can add multiple cases and their destinations to be thrown out so this way the part goes to the respective destinations of the conveyor which is it has to be assigned to and now we will just come to this area okay so the common margin area this conveyor so whenever this processor is done they will come out onto this conveyor and they'll come out and they will be coming onto this decision point right and when they are going to come to this decision point they are going to be you know assigned another destination just like we did it initially okay so now but here it is item dot destino okay what is that item dot destino so this label is basically assigned here right so you can assign it at the start itself you can assign it here also so the basically uh, the item you know destino this is another label which is used by this con a decision point in order to decide that where this part should be sent it to the unloading conveyor so those destino you know uh, label is assigned here on these decision points and then they will go here they will check which of that which is my you know label item dot destino and based on those they are then going to transfer it to the respective out objects similarly you can click on this decision point and check out what are my out objects even you with this binoculars you can just check out that this is my you know exit transfer depending on that you can just check it out now if you go and go on and here you can see that you know my patch are clearly segregated onto the conveyor based on the item type so that is that easy in a flexible environment guys so that is you know the power of descriptive and simulation in manufacturing simulation right so it's really a great tool and advantages a lot of things where you can explore and work on it is really going to be a future into the process industries and as well as in the manufacturing industries so now let us go to this bonus answer okay so let us understand that how is this thing done so basically when you click on this here itself we get an answer that basically this is a processor right but the shape of this is changed to the box so this address tells us that it was made as a box the shape is given as you know dot radius if you want to find out this right you can just click on this item or you can go to the flow item the best thing is you should go to the you know the flow items and when you click on the box right you will be able to see this as code so when I copy this basically, right? And if I'm going to give it to any of the thing, let us give it to basically, you know, the conveyor, but we don't have that for conveyor. So most probably for the processors uh, we can give. So when you see, it is going to be the same thing. But now 
you know the shape has changed so that was basically adjusted so it is same address you can get that you know dot 3ds thing address from you know flow item if you want squares cubes you know anything you can get this you need to copy this and you need to paste on the item which you are basically going to you know convert to that shape and then you can just you know change the shape of this the way it was before is this way and then it can be used for visualization or processing so this is that the processor shape is basically changed and that's the reason this is basically connected using this entry and exit transfer you will see it also has input and output ports it's nothing but the processor with a shape being changed it's nothing a big deal so that's all for today so this is okay the what we say but we can this is a mystery behind what is this and how this can be created into your simulation model okay so this is all about you know uh, about our today's answer for the question that how can we transfer the patch using decision point to the respective conveyor so that the sorting is done properly so this is sorting based on the item type you're sorting it throughout the conveyors and at the unloading conveyor what you're going to do is again you're sorted if you go see that the blue is here yellow is here orange is here you're sorted this up right now this thing is intentionally kept this way just to you know make a difference between a sorted conveyor and a non-sorted so these two basically if you see this is a you know type 2 destino 1 and this is type 8 destino 1 so both we have given a destination of the same that's the reason they have given the same conveyor there is nothing big deal for this so this is for today guys let me know in the comment section your views on this if you have any questions you can reach us out in the comment section or you can reach us out from our website beaverchannel.com explore our website beaverchannel.com from a lot of exciting stuff we have a lot of interesting and informative educational blogs onto it we have quizzes for you we have health awareness related content on it and we have simulation premium training classes and industrial engineering support so do give a visit on behaviorchannel.com and we are happy to serve you we are happy to support you and that's all for today stay safe stay tuned on behavior channel and do not forget to subscribe to behavior channel thank you